Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Bachelor in Paratus News. Please subscribe and keep watching for more details. I am your friend Alana B. Let's start. Jamie is a nurse and a mother of two sons, but her true love is writing. She enjoys reality television, cooking, and paranormal shows. Jamie has been blogging for some years. The Bachelor's Gabby L. Nikki went through a lot with Zach Shawcross during his season. During the Dream Suite dates, she was the only one he was intimate with. He did, however, break his vow to her that he would keep their closeness between them private. He shared their private night not just with Katie Baker, but also with the whole Bachelor Nation fan base. The news broadcast and played an important role in Zach's path. Continue reading to learn more about Gaby's feelings now that several months have gone. Bachelor when Zach Shawcross selected Katie Bigar over Gabby Elnicki, he destroyed her heart. She was not only not chosen in the end, but Zach also revealed their fantasy sweet secrets to everyone. Months have passed since the season's filming finished in November. She recently appeared on Caitlin Bristow's Off the Vine podcast, where she offered her thoughts on everything, which may or may not be what everyone expected her to say. Gabi thought Zach was the one for her. He eventually fell more in love with Katie and proposed to her. Gabby had a feeling it wasn't going to be her in the end, but she chose to stay. At the final rose ceremony, she approached Zach and let him shatter her heart. Why? She then admitted that she didn't self-eliminate because she didn't want Katie to feel like she was chosen by accident. This wasn't the first time she had considered Katie's feelings. Gabby stepped out in the mud as she drove up to the final rose ceremony. She told producers not to let that happen to Katie when she arrived. Gabby's current state of mind is one of hurt. In fact, she feels violated, even though she does not believe Zach crushed her heart on purpose. For me to hold hatred, anger, and resentment toward him. I'm hoping I can let that go at some point, Gabby said but I believe I am still feeling violated at this moment, and I'm still getting over it all. She also admitted that she isn't quite over him. I think I thought I was over him, she admitted. But when you leave the bubble, are you saying goodbye for good? You can't call them or text them. I'm not going to message him on Instagram. He's with one of my best friends, and I knew they were dating, and I wouldn't have wanted to contact him anyhow but viewing it back was much more difficult because I saw it from every angle. While Gabby does not believe she will be best friends with Zach in the future, she hopes to put her hurt aside for the sake of her friendship with Katie. Gabby and Katie have both stated their want to be in each other's life. That means being able to move on from all that happened between Gabby and Zach. Throughout the entire process, Katie and Gabby have only spoken words of encouragement and love to each other. Zach and Katie are still engaged and enjoying their lives in Austin, Texas. Gabby, on the other hand, is attempting to move on and has plans to meet up with Katie towards the end of April. What do you think of Gabby's admission that she may not be entirely over Zach?